pretty cool. Throw him over there. And then at the very end, who do we want? Who do we want? We'll throw Hollow's Eve, just because super Halloween. Let's throw her over here. Great. Looking cool. Now if I could get that focus back. I think that's it. There we go. Hello! Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing Bloodstorm! This is a Marvel Legends series figure from Hasbro, part of the Black Blackheart Build-A-Figure, uh, Strange Tales Wave. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, I got this uh, about a week ago, something like that. Super happy to get an unboxed for Halloween. It does come with the body of Blackheart. Can't wait to get Black Blackheart unboxed, but for now I can't wait to get this Bloodstorm out. Storm as a vampire? That's so cool. All right, there's the front of the box. Flipping it around to the back. There's Bloodstorm. Some lightning fingertips. And here's the first side, the window. The next side, that artwork in a bigger form. Looks great. And from the top, you got your strange tails. And the bottom is your barcode and legalese. I'm going to, just going to zoom into that barcode just in case you need it for anything. All right, let's set it here, pull the camera back, get a little closer look at everything, then we'll get it completely unboxed. So there's your Marvel Legends, Warning, Blackheart Build-A-Figure, and there she is, Bloodstorm. She comes with two heads, which is pretty cool. Yes, I love that um, you can see her teeth here, but then when her mouth is closed, you can see her fangs as well. Pretty cool, and her red eyes are creepy. I like it. A couple extra hands, and of course the body of Blackheart. Very cool. All right, bottom of the box, Strange Tales, 4 Plus, Hasbro. Back of the box, Marvel Legends. And there is a Bloodstorm blurb, if you'd like to re read it, right there. And there is a picture of Storm, Bloodstorm. There is everything you need to build this guy, Blackheart. And there they all are. Pretty cool. Can't wait to get all of those. And the bottom is some legalese. Oop, trying to get a focus on it. That's probably as good as I'm going to be able to get. Yep. All right, let's set it here. Tilt the camera down. I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife to cut that tape. While I'm doing that, just want to say, if you're enjoying this video, if you give it a like, if you enjoy action figure unboxings, toy hunts, shelf tours, everything fun action figure related, and you have not yet subscribed, I hate with that on my shelf. Go ahead and do that and get that all on your feed. And if you have a fun comment, that's always greatly appreciated. That said, let's get Bloodstorm out of this box. All right. Got a little flap here. Here we go. Yes, very cool. All right, let's get Blackheart's body out of here first. They said it's a bendy wire tail. And I am seeing a definite bendy wire tail. I love it. Fantastic. Love the bendy wire. Nice. Reminds me of the lizard figure. Looks like they had to kind of push it like this way to get it to fit in the box, but I don't know how they did it, but they got it to fit in the box. <laughs> That's pretty good. But yeah, this is going to be cool. I like that he has uh, butterflies. Bendy tail. It's going to be a sweet looking black card. I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's get some more Bloodstorm out. Here's that extra head. Not seeing any articulation on the actual hair. It is just static, but that is a cool looking head. Nice. All right, hands. We've got a couple extra hands. Looks like a splayed hand. Pretty normal for Marvel Legends females. I do like the fingernails, look really nice. Would have been cool if they painted them red or something. I guess I could always do that. They are sharp and look like they could draw some blood. Then the other hand, I don't know, what is this? It's just like she's putting up a piece or something. Peace out. That works. You use it for a lot of different things, I think. Pretty cool. All right, let's get her out. Let's see, nothing comes through the back. That's good. Oh, uh, yes, very cool. There's a 
little X-Men belt. Is it supposed to be on the side like that? No, I think it's supposed to be like... No, I think it is supposed to be just like that. All right. Sweet. Let's see what we got for as far as a head joint. Oy. So it is just a, a rocker with a ball joint. Kind of reminds me of all these Spider-Man figures. Going to give it some good head up and good head down, that's for sure. Even with that ponytail, because it is soft plastic, you can get the head way up. And the head can go way down. It's pretty cool. And side to side. Turn it. Pretty good. Uh, no butterflies, but you've got a peg on a rocker there. The jacket is actually loose, so that's cool. Man, you know what would have been really sweet? Is if this came with extra arms. Kind of like... Um, uh, Mr. Fantastic, the Fantastic Four figure. He had his lab coat on with the white sleeved arms, and he also came with his, uh, uh, I think they were the blue suit arms, but if she just had, like, regular, she could just have, you know, no coat. That would have been cool, too. I don't know. That's something that could probably be, get some Marvel Legends female arms, you know, from another storm or something. You could easily probably do that. I feel like this jacket would come off. Uh, she's she's like not skin colored back here so you'd have to color the skin color back there because it looks oh no because it's part of the okay it's all part of her top so no I think you I think you could I think that would be really cool and I love that I'm not seeing a hole in the back so that's nice yeah pretty neat all right so you've got a peg on a rocker for the elbow <laughs> for the shoulder but hey you've got a peg on a rocker for the elbow as well it is one of those that goes almost 90 degrees yeah, right. If you really push, you can get it there, but it's just, just a little less. But it is just a peg on a rocker there. Whenever they simulate cloth and stuff, they like to use the, uh, like the uh, Star Wars The Black Series uses for all their figures. Most of their figures, but for the majority, you get the uh, peg on a rocker for the elbow. Um, just looks better, I think, with, with fabric. And then you got up and down on all the hands. You've got your uh, ab crunch here. Works very well. Here's your back. There's your forward. Looking cool. Yep, side to side. Very nice. Um, there is no... Oh, no, there is a waist cut. Wow, there actually is a waist cut. It's one of the old school ones. But at least she has the belt, so kind of... I am so happy to actually see at least a waist cut on a female figure. I was expecting it to be totally static and not move at all. That's nice. What I would love is if someday they would just do a ball joint so it would like it's concave and go inside of there and kind of move around uh, down there would be better, but at least there's movement there. So that's cool. And the belt covers it up, which is pretty nice. All right, the legs, you got a ball joint down in there. There's your kick to the side. There's your kick up. Um, there's your kick back. There is a thigh cut. It gets kind of weird because it's like has this pattern down the side. But it's not the worst. Then you got a double jointed knee, but I'm seeing darn it pins. They saved money on the legs. Can't get that last joint to go up. These joints are kind of funky, honestly. Ah, they feel really gummy and not great. These are some of the worst knees I've seen in a while. I feel like I'm going to break it. There we go. Ah, there it is. Probably should heat it up or something, but I can't get the other one to go, and I don't want to break the knee. Ah, yeah, I'll have to heat it up or something, but yeah, not, not loving these knees. I skimped on the knees. That kind of sucks. I, I think I would have rather seen a, a single joint peg on a rocker for the knee, since it's cloth as well rather than pins. That's really the only gripe on this figure. Otherwise, this thing is sweet looking. Do we have a... Uh, no boot cut. Boot cut would have been nice, too. Perfect spot for a boot cut. Nothing there. Yeah, not loving these legs. Uh, front facing pin on a rocker for the foot. Man, it was amazing. And then it kind of didn't get amazing. Still a, a really great figure. I'm super happy to have it. Let me see if I can get her to stand. These knees are driving me nuts. All right, let's get a better, better shot of Bloodstorm. All right, so there she is. So 
something like that. And throw everything she comes with. So you got the body of um, Blackheart, the extra head, two extra hands. We'll put those on during posing, so stay tuned for that. Pretty sweet figure. Uh, the knees drive me nuts, and a boot cut would have been super nice. Man, if they had no pins, even if it was a pin on a rocker for the knee, and then had a boot cut, this figure would have been just boom, just amazing. I mean, it's really good, but ah, the legs just are not great. <laughs> she agrees as she falls over with her gummy knees. Ah, yeah, the knees really do suck. The knees are awful. All right. Let's throw this other stuff to the side, all these accessories, and then we'll get her some other figures next to her for scale. So let's throw her right in the middle. We'll probably have to come up just a little bit because we've got some taller guys here. So there she is right here. Let's get a focus on her. Doesn't want to do it. There we go. All right, so who do we got? Let's go... Let's go Jack-O-Lantern. Throw him over here. Actually, we have a couple figures from this wave. We might as well stick over here. So here's Weapon of Vengeance. And then we've got Vlad Dracula. It's pretty cool. Throw him over there. And then at the very end, who do we want? Who do we want? We'll throw Hollow's Eve, just because super Halloween. Let's throw her over here. Great. Looking cool. Now if I could get that focus back. I think that's it. There we go. Alright. There is your Bloodstorm. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.